fucking hell Harry. What's the matter with you? You have a face like a wet weekend. Clive. I need to talk to you about William Gallus. I'm worried about him. Why? What has he said to you? I spoke to him yesterday about his move to Tottenham. I feel like I've made a mistake. He's demanding that he plays in the first team, or he'll fuck up our team's morale. What should I do, Clive? I think you should send him up to the chairman's office. He'll straighten him out. The thing is, I told him that he was a terrific lad, with a terrific attitude. But it wasn't enough for him. He rambled on about how other clubs told him to fuck off because his wage demands were too high. And that he only came to Spurs because he was desperate for a move. Well, I guess you're just going to have to take it like a man, Harry. You're going to have to play him in matches. We can't let bad team morale get in the way of our chances for silverware this season. But I can't do that. I'm the manager. I make the decisions. Do you honestly think I would let one arrogant player get the better of me? I'm a Harry fucking red nap. Harry. Arrogance is what we need for our squad. It will make the others perform better. But how can we have a player who has no heart in the club be made a captain? It's wrong. Adley King is our best captain. I can't let Gallus, a player of his arrogance, have the armband. Harry, you're pissing me off. I could manage this club better than you. If you have a player like Gallus in your team who is arrogant enough to be captain, then that's exactly what we need. Sod this. I'm off. Gallus may be a terrific lad, with a terrific attitude, but he's not going to be my captain, and that's final. Well Harry, do what you want. Fuck up Tottenham Hotspur if you want to, to be honest I don't really care. I don't need your help. Fuck you Clive.